Hello, so today I'm going to be doing the video portion of the integration project. And for this, I chose to use um, the rhythm of the Old Grey Mare um, to create my version of a song that's going to help with the standard which I chose, and that has to do with fifth grade English, and the standard is um, 5RL22. And the standard is pretty much you know, children need to be able to, um, when they're reading a poem or a story, they need to be able to find the theme um, and then deduct, like summarize it and also um, kind of figure out why the theme is happening and all the things that go along with that. So for that, I made my own song and it has to go with the Old Grey Mare, like I said already, and that is on page 27 of the We Sing book. So I'll go ahead and I will sing through the new lyrics first. And then once I sing through them, I'll kind of um, describe the motions that go along with the song. And then at the end, we'll put it all together. So I'll go ahead and sing the new one. So it starts off, the poem that you're reading has to have a theme, has to have a theme, has to have a theme. The poem that you're reading has to have a theme, whatever that may be, whatever that may be, whatever that may be. The poem that you're reading has to have a theme, whatever that may be. The poem that you're reading tells a story, tells a story, tells a story. The poem that you're reading tells a story, whatever that may be, whatever that may be, whatever that may be. The poem that you're reading tells a story, whatever that may be. All right, so those are the new lyrics to help with the standard. And as you can see, it says that, you know, this whatever story that you're reading or poem you're reading has a theme um, and it tells a story and it doesn't matter what is being told, but there is a story that goes along with that. And as you know, the children need to be able to recognize that. So this can kind of help them to go through that. So to go along with this song, there are motions that the students are going to be able to do that can help them kind of remember it and just it's a symbol for them. So the first line, the poem that you're reading. So when you're doing that, when you're saying those lyrics, you're going to act like you have a book in your hand and you're going to flip the page. So the poem that you're reading, okay? And then the next one has to have a theme. So for that one, we're just going to clap our hands together. And this kind of symbolizes that, you know, a theme is a whole, it's a whole part. So we have the whole part. So has to have a theme. And then the next line is whatever that may be. So when we sing whatever that may be, we're gonna go whatever that may be. So it's just kind of, a, you're shrugging, you know, it's kind of symbolizing whatever that may be because it could be anything. I mean, the story could be anything. So, and then the last portion of words is tells a story. So when we say those lyrics, we're gonna say tells a story because it tells a story, it could be a whole thing. So it starts on one and ends on the other. So that tells a story. So now we'll go ahead and put this all together with the motions and we'll sing through it again. So we'll start. The poem that you're reading has to have a theme, has to have a theme, has to have a theme. The poem that you're reading has to have a theme, whatever that may be, whatever that may be, Whatever that may be, the poem that you're reading has to have a theme. Whatever that may be, the poem that you're reading tells a story, tells a story, tells a story. The poem that you're reading tells a story, whatever that may be, whatever that may be, whatever that may be, the poem read and tells a story whatever that may be and that is the whole portion for this part of the integration project thank you